as uh, covid is making its comeback in a big bang manner testing and tracing is again back in discussion testing and tracing is nothing but like the who done it in a crime novel it requires investigation with forensics circumstantial evidence to find out where exactly it originated and how it happened in the year 1987 the economist magazine puts it in philadelphia 18 people who were delegates in a convention died it took months and months of investigation cause was traced back to a bacteria in an overhead tank when a large number of people started losing their lives and suffering from the aids it was not known who was responsible for it only it is only later that it was known that it was caused by a virus before that it was only known as a syndrome acquired immunodeficiency syndrome and the virus that was causing it was called aids only later on as compared to that the covid-19 situation is far far better in fact when in wuhan in china in the month of uh, december 2019 or late november 2019 it was discovered that a particular form of uh, pneumonia is rapidly spreading it took all of 2 weeks to isolate this particular cause or the virus which was later known as covid-19 virus in the early 2000s there was a virus called sars or severe acute respiratory syndrome or even the middle eastern respiratory syndrome from where lessons were taken and it was quickly isolated but after the isolation or the recognition of the virus is done it is very important to develop a test regime as some of you might be aware a testing requires a sample as an antigen in case of a pregnancy test for example urine is taken as a sample and the antigen that is the pregnancy antigen is the recognition factor which the machines will analyze or the chemical will analyze and it will give a result that it is positive or negative in case of covid the linings of the lung linings of the throat and linings of the nose store these particles which could be used for creating a test protocol meaning you will have to uh, have a process so that it is standardized and it could be used at scale in various places in case of uh, covid-19 it is called rt pcr reverse transcripted polymerized chain reaction swabs are taken from the uh, nose or from the throat and these are subjected to what is called transcripting or reverse transcripting because what you collect and what you get out of it are the rnas the machines cannot read them so they must be converted through a reverse transcripting process into dnas after this reverse transcripting process the dnas are heated so that the strands start separating and a particular primer or particular probe starts illuminating these strands if they are positive so that the computerized tests could read it the test protocol is developed it requires a large amount of logistics for example let us take uh, the aids test in mumbai or for that matter any state capital in our country it is only very limited number of laboratories that they that they do this virus related tests but in case of covid it is entirely different covid is spread through the length and breadth of the country it doesn't limit itself to the metropolis or to the urban areas like probably in case of aids and it must be done at scale now because the laboratories are so limited and the capability of the phlebologist or the collection agents or the pathological laboratories is limited it requires large scale enhancement and upgradation of the testing facilities and that became a big challenge the other challenge was the computerization of the entire process or digitization of the entire process because unlike many other diseases where pathological testing is done in case of covid-19 it is not only 
between the patient and her doctor because of the public health implications covid test results must be shared with the policy makers this requires computerization of reporting standards and computerization of the logistics how samples are to be collected how it is to be barcoded which machines will analyze it how to store the intermediate results and analysis for scientific discovery later on so this created a big challenge having talked about testing let us now come to tracing if the disease is spreading like a pandemic it must be arrested in case of a malaria for example you try to find out where mosquitoes breed destroy or sanitize the place but in case of a covid because generally it comes from the human beings through contact with persons who are testing positive it is necessary to trace in south korea uh, they took the financial records of persons who have tested positives from financial records they found out which shops establishments and other places they have visited took the cctv camera of those establishments deployed ai and ml to match the faces of the persons that are visible in the cctv with the identity records of the government and to track these people to keep them under watch obviously in the western countries in transparent democracies like india this was not possible so many of the western countries spent billions and billions of dollar as well as millions of people were deployed for contact tracing then came the boon of the smartphones because everybody is carrying it everywhere apps were installed in smartphones of people who have been tested positive were requested to send a message and based on this message the computer find out that which are the other phones which were there for a period of above a particular period with this phone and those phones were alerted these were done based on a p2p peer to peer protocol and it was done anonymously applications like arogyo setu in india and many places these were developed uh, smartphones were used to trace and warn people work is still happening social media crowdsourcing what the uh, community platforms are telling all these are being deployed for contact tracing natural uh, language processing based on media interaction algorithms are being deployed to find out where exactly could be the next containment zone or next spreading zone testing to be stabilized around rt pcr but the main drawbacks of the current testing methods and protocols are the long duration that it takes for results to come out the second is that it doesn't tell you at what stage exactly your disease is you may test positive just one day Uh, after infection has come to you or you may get positive after a long time when it is too late similarly it also uh, doesn't tell whether your swab is adequate enough to spread it sometimes even a small amount of positivity will be declared as positive you may not be having enough amount of uh, virus to spread it the latest uh, um, development is that uh, the pcr kits are coming in a box in many airports it has been deployed where results will be available within 90 to 120 minutes there are new protocols which are coming which will tell the severity of the disease this is a work in process but suffice it to say as we are spending more and more money in terms of vaccination in terms of creating facilities for people who are infected it is important that all of us must be aware about this testing protocol why testing is important and needs to be improved as well as tracing protocol thank you very much